I'd like to say about uh, John Jenkins uh, to his family, thank you. Thank you for all that he's done for the 25 plus years he's been a, a board volunteer for the Boys and Girls Clubs in Prince William County. Uh, thank you for sharing them with us and thank you for allowing him to have us top of mind and one of his priorities. John was on the board for several decades. I worked with him for the last 13 years or so relative to primarily his involvement as um, supervisor, as being an active participant in the community, and his love of kids and making sure that kids had opportunities so that they could advance and be productive in the, in the community. John would, would come after a long day of work. He's always involved, as, as, as we all know, with many, many, many charities, causes, and positive things in the county. And so he would be coming there at 6.30 at night after a long day of work, and he'd be tired. He, he'd sometime nod off a little bit, and um, you could tell that the day was a long day for him, but he never left that meeting without adding something positive for the board and for the operations of the clubs. John's involvement in the community is such that it will last well beyond our lifetime. The impact that he had on the community based upon his history with the schools, his history as a supervisor, his history at Garfield High School, at just involved in the community from the playgrounds to the educational opportunities to everything that he did always was related to family, kids, and bettering the community. The club was a safe place for me. I was a sick kid growing up. I had to, um, I was at the children's hospital most of the time if I wasn't at the Boys and Girls Club. And when I was able to go to the Boys and Girls Club after my procedures, um, everyone treated me the same. Growing up here is good, it's an outing. And I started here when I was two, and I've been here since, um, working and being a child here. I love the Boys and Girls Club very much. I was, on top of being a sick kid, I was a very shy kid. Uh, you could find me in a corner with a book. For the first two years, I started going to the Boys and Girls Club, and eventually some of my favorite counselors uh, brought me out of my shell. I was nominated to be Youth of the Year, which is the highest honor a club member could get um, and I had to do public speaking but with the public speaking I became more comfortable around people I won a $1,500 scholarship I got to network with uh, branch directors from all over the East Coast Staples Best Buy uh, the NFL I had so many great opportunities and I'm incredibly thankful it's a great outing for this area especially now through the whole country, everything that's going on with our youth, it needs something for them to have a positive effect on everything. That's something to get away from all the trouble that's going on. We have a lot of kids that come here who deal with violence, anger, that's coming from the community, that's coming from their generation because they don't know how to deal with it. They're all either depressed or suppressed or in their voices and things like that. When they come here, they're relaxed. They speak to people, they get out with other people. They're not dealing with all the drama. They leave it all at school and all at home. They come here, they have fun, and they open up, and they let it all out, and we try to help them with it. We have a lot of programs that help kids that work on them themselves. Um, like we have cooking classes here. We have Passport to Manhood that's helping them grow up. We have smart girls that's helping them grow up as females. And we have more programs like STEM that's teaching them science. So it's something that's for everybody because we don't have just sports. It's not just a daycare where they sit there and watch and we are interactive and we're into their lives. We offer programs after school. Your kid isn't just gonna come here and play in the gym all day. We have uh, programs that teach kids how to budget money. We have programs to teach kids how to successfully do public speaking. Um, we have leadership programs for young kids, well, younger kids. We have programs that allow older high schooler kids to get scholarships. Um, and it's a great safe environment for your child where they will be fed and looked after and loved and cared for.
Well, it means we can keep our doors open. It means that we can keep our prices low for kids. It means that we can give the kids the opportunities that we normally would not be able to do if we didn't have the funding. It, it gives kids a place to go and not be on the streets. Um, that funding allows us to, to serve every kid that wants to be served. We don't turn kids away. Uh, and, and that's just a big part. That funding is a big part of, our, of allowing us to be able to do that. John's long-standing tradition of being, not only being a board member, but being at every board meeting. And that's hard to do. But he would be at every board meeting, he would participate, he would always ask me before, after, during the meetings, what can I do? What can I do to help? And that's really, that's what we all should be doing, is how can we help each other? How can we help the community? How can we make this a better Prince William? ST, it's wonderful to be out here today on this beautiful fall day. We uh, got uh, about 65 uh, players here for this golf tournament. All of the proceeds of the tournament are going to the Boys and Girls Club of Prince William County. So it's really a special treat to have so many people in the community out here congregating together and uh, participating in this. Well, it's really a community activity.